No way. Like, I actually have two sticks that, like, I've had since I was a kid. Like, one, one that I use as, like, a poker, but it has this really cool handle. And then this other one that I have is, like, an actual walking stick, but it's, like, super nice. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just random, man. Space to get. Alright, great. Alright, well, we're in this now. So, I hope you all are ready. Company. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Crap, can I, can I undo? Control Z, Control Z. I'll just put this like, will bitch. Hey, Angel. Bye. Oh, differ. Oh, interesting. Pretty good. We're just, uh... Star in this scary movie or scary scary game? How are you doing? You and the kids have anything planned for tomorrow? Trick or treating or anything like that? It's a it's a horror game. It's a it's a horror game. Oh, sounds sounds good, man. So this is just the beginning. Like it's just it's just a fun little game. It's actually not fun. It's it's actually kind of kind of freaky. Um, usually it's like a mystery game that you have to try. I really needed to get, and it's kind of like a you follow a story, and there are some there are some uh, monsters or some evil entities that sometimes try to get you and, and stuff like that. So it's a, just a, it's a it's a it's a thriller horror game. So it can be a little slow sometimes, and, it's t and it can be a little bit tough to figure out some of the puzzles and stuff like that, but it's it's pretty cool. This is episode 5, but none of the episodes connect. They're all their own episodes, so you're actually right at the beginning of this one. Um, yeah. Get a Mountain Dew. Mountain Poo. Oh, that's new. That's for the show. I mean, it's, and for me, it doesn't matter, George. I don't really plan on watching it, but is, if it's cool for you, man, that's, that's good, man. That's awesome. I, I, I really wish I had gotten more into anime. Like, it's just one of those things that just kind of doesn't... It just doesn't come naturally for me. You know? Um, it needed water. Which was a 10 out of 10. Very heartbreaking. Cried multiple times. Nice. Do you recommend the show? Cool. That's awesome, man. It's any, any time that you see a, a show that makes you emotional I, I think is is great I recently watched the um, there's a, a new documentary on Netflix about a guy who played World of Warcraft but he was like a paraplegic he had some a, a unfortunate disease that he was he was um, it just he just slowly lost started losing his mobility and stuff like that and man it is it is it is tough dude oh yeah it's all right George so it's, it's okay Especially because I'm playing the game now too, but I, I'll definitely check out a trailer. Maybe later tonight I can I can watch it or something. Or after after this game, I'll check out a tra I'll check out a trailer for the show. How about that? We can kind of get the gist of it. How'd you like it, Angel? It was I thought it was really well well done. I uh, the ending got me, and uh, ending got me for sure. It was that was a that was a tough one. Yeah, the same. It was it, you know the, it, towards the beginning. When he started to get, you know, sick and stuff, I was like, it, it. I started to like get teary-eyed, but 
the ending, man. I was I was a mess. K Katie had Katie was like, "You're okay." Not joking me, like she was actually like, "Are you okay?" Kind of a thing. Needed to use the restroom. All right. So also, basically, oh, so hold on. I forgot to say. So basically, if you haven't seen these games, Fears to Fathom is based off of Reddit stories that are supposedly real, right? They have to deal with like supernatural and like the supernatural or spooky things. Like one of them was about a guy who broke into a house and he had to like this guy, uh, someone broke into this other dude's house that you're playing. Um, you had to hide and all this stuff like that or else you get murdered. Another one was um, a guy's ex-girlfriend broke into the house because he was all trippy. And there was another one with like a satanic ritual. Um, so they're all based off of Reddit stories um, that are supposedly true. Supposedly true. So that's why the yellow text at the bottom is part of like the Reddit story. If that makes sense. I watched the uh, dub version. If I fully get an anime, that's the only way I would enjoy them. Yeah, I, I, I probably would be the same way, George. I, I don't. I, as much as I would love to be into the Japanese thing, or like be be able to like hear it, and I, I know that's that'd be the best way. Um, I feel like having to read up and read up up and down and up and down for an entire series like that could be a lot. Uh, okay. Also, uh, if you're gonna stick around, Angel, if uh, you see that I'm doing something stupid, or I'm not figuring something out, let me know. If if you yeah, if you figure out a, a a puzzle or whatever, let me know. What the fuck? See, see, I knew it. I heard. I heard his foot. I heard his footsteps. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry, didn't know anyone was in here. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. Should have knocked before I came in. But there isn't usually anyone in here this late. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do not, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Uh, he looks like Tom. He does look like Tom Morello. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, you know what's crazy is actually they they added way more detail to the face for this episode because this is relatively pretty new I think this is a new episode the other ones they were like terrible there was like super pixelated this is really designed for really good design it's, it's freakier with like an actual design uh, a little bit frustrated tonight uh, must have slipped my mind what has you frustrated someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office it's been happening for weeks Oh, that's really rude. Well, I need to get back to, to it. Don't want to be up all night picking up coffee cups. Have... <laughs> Shit, that was me. I'll kill him. I'm, I meet a lot of late night workers, but you're one of the most dedicated ones here. <laughs> All right, I need to wash my hands. Yeah, if you find a if you find a trailer, just send it to me on Discord. See, I I heard his footsteps. I heard his footsteps when I was in the in the restroom, and uh, so I knew he was gonna be there, or something was gonna be there. And, um, that, that's, that's the main thing with this game, Angel. It's a lot of just those jump scares. It could be a little bit more, it could be like a little psychological, you know, but nothing. Oops. All right. I'm going to try to throw, try to throw this away in the trash can so he doesn't have to pick it up. Oh shit. Okay. I guess that works, right? Oh wait, no, there it is. Can I, get, can I grab that? Shit. Alright, well. Can I close this door again? I don't want to hear him humming. Oops. 
This is really well made this time. Uh, like just the overall like level design is is definitely a huge improvement. Uh, go for Sydney Harper. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call your cell for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Sounds like fucking. Is everything all right? It sounds like Kraka a little bit, a little higher pitched Kraka. His voice is a little bit deeper. Uh, my phone's been acting up oh, lately. Oh snap! I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, this literally sounds like. Sounds like Kraka. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. I think he's even uh, anyway, said, oh, snap. Uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. It's been overwhelming lately. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was going to do it. Oh, dang, so Mike likes us. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch, you know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just Bro. a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Bro, he's trying to get it in, dude. Come on. Great. Uh, I guess Sounds I'll let good. you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Nora. Okay, sure. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Alright, talk to you later, Harp. Later, dude. Appreciate y'all. It's fine, man. Yeah, it's a trailer is a trailer, dude. I'll find it. Just find a find a find a trailer. Just watch it. Where am I going? Woodbury. Search. So under a hundred dollars, what we gotta do? So that's three fifty a night. Fuck it. Let's do it. Oh, there's a there's ninety nine. That's the only nine. That's the only one we got. Is the ninety nine dollar one. This looks nice. Professor George, have a have a good time, man. Your booking has been confirmed. I didn't even have to put in my. Uh... My details. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily, so I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry. This is part of the Reddit story. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big council, a consulting firm in my city. Um, life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. That's kind of how it goes. My name is Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a uh, weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work, and my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. Nice. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Is this Mike? That should help out a little bit. Quite chilly today, huh? I'm um, Sydney. I've seen you around here, but I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. My name is Gail. I'm Sydney. Nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on 8th. Uh, that's right. I thought so. I've seen you a few times getting off the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Me, I'm a software engineer. What about you? Consulting firm. 
Oh, I see. Anyways, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I need to get some groceries before the snow starts. You too. Is he He's got a PCP? Or a PCP? PSP? Forgot my... For uh, wait, what the fuck? How do I go up? Hold on. Rent a cabin. Yeah. There's a little spooky stuff always, every, everywhere. Uh, thanks for booking my property. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks, Rick. Looking forward to it. Confirming. Check in at 3 p.m., right? That's correct. The key will be in the lockbox. The code is okay. That's fine. Got that. Michael just booked. Do you even answer the phone anymore? I'm on board, right? Hey, pulling in your way. You downstairs yet? There's. There's Mike. I need to get my suitcase, Mike. Harp. Hug. Oh, this is new. Whoa. Let's go. See, now his face is a little bit less detailed than the janitor. That's still how you hug people? What the fuck's wrong with this? What? Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Test, just a test like to see if you... To see if you smelled first. Long hug. Oh, You smelly boy? Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Harper. Harper. Okay, Mike. I'll give it to you, man. F flirt with me, but you better... You better treat me well. You look good. Thanks for picking it. So do you, Mike. You can you can just okay. I need to go get my shit. I need I have to go back upstairs to the It said my I have to go back up to the tenth floor. That's where I live is the tenth floor. Hey, did you notice in the elevators there's no thirteenth floor? There's no thirteenth floor in a lot of in a lot of elevators because of uh oh whoops. I didn't realize I already had the already had the stuff. Okay, good thing it didn't take me. Yeah, 13 is like bad luck. Yeah, so it's kind of like a superstition kind of thing, I guess. You you see it all. You can see it all the time. All right then, Harp, are you ready to hit the road? Where's Where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route there through the city would have been a detour for her, anyways. All right then, Harp. Let me drive. Actually, no, 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 no. Driving in this game is kind of is a little wonky. All right. Yeah. Again, if you guys see something that I'm missing, that's part of the story or like part of the puzzle, just tell me. Just tell me. I don't care about backseat gaming. I really don't. I want to just get this over with. It was starting to snow. This was actually a gift from my coworker Ricky. Said he found it at a garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow. I can see a little bit of resemblance. It's the cowboy spirit, I guess. Uh, let's talk to Mike a little bit. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out of the real world. Funny how that works. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, kill us. Sucks sometimes. No, I haven't, George. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust the new job. Uh, speaking of jobs, how's it going? How's your new job going? Oh, nice, Matt. What, what kind of soup you make, dude? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Stone Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood. What do consultants even do? We consult. Uh, oh, I should have explained. I'm such an asshole. Important work. Oh, damn it. I'm. I'm sorry. I should have. I should have explained what consultants do. It's really pretty. It, I don't understand. I'm trying to answer the the text message. Uh, that was a. Uh, did you see the school bus? There's a school bus. There's a school bus. Maybe it's a project, you know, someone's idea of turning into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. They do. 
Okay. Um, it's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received a confirmation text from you. Just wanted to check in, make sure that everything's okay. The roads near Woodsbury can get a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know you when you arrive. We're on our way and should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you check in and travel safe. That was close. You know. I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. Like in Red Dead Redemption. Spicy chicken noodle soup. Nice. Uh, how far is it now? It should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. You're taking too much acid, bro. It's kind of beautiful. You're kind of beautiful. Why don't you say I'm beautiful, Mike? Huh? How come you never tell me I'm beautiful? Sometimes I wish someone told me I'm beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Angel. Yo, Harp, check that out. What am I checking out, bro? What does that say? Moe's Pizza. Let's go. Let's get some fucking pizza, bro. Come on. Oh, there's so many more NPCs now. Let's go. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry that I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. Alright then. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Get out. This guy's a fucking nerd, dude. I'm gonna look for a bit. I'll t uh, tap back here now. That sounds good, man. Take it easy, George. Cheese, veggies, four dollars for a veggie? That's cheap. Six dollars for a mushroom. He's holding the door open? What? Thank you. Dang, what a gentleman. Yeah, what up, dude? How you doing, my friend? Not bad, you. Yeah. I'm as good as a man can be, my friend. Uh, okay. I'm gonna grab a slice. No, just looking for a little help. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can, but you go on and get some pizza first. Maybe we'll catch up later. Alright, I'm trying to be nice to everybody. I'm trying to be nice to everybody so no one kills us, or maybe someone can help us out. Uh, how's your day going? Who are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. We're just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for understanding. I hope you enjoy your meal. Damn, damn, bitch. I'm not trying to steal your man. Fucking asshole. You just literally just eating leaves. Yo, what up, dude? Oh, okay. Hey, what up, old man? How's the pizza? Well, my dear, you absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperoni here at Moe's. Every bite reminds you of a story. Huh. So what brings you to Moe's? Uh, we're headed to the cabin at Woodsbury. I'm on a road trip with my friend. You've made a good choice stopping here. Do you come here often? Oh, my dear, I've been coming to this place since 85. This place is full of memories for me. Nice. Got my daughter, bless her, she tries to keep me from eating too much pizza. Bad for a man my age, she says. What? You can never have, you, but I don't care how old you are, you should always be able to have pizza. I only have one of these heavenly slices about twice a month now. It was nice chatting with you, safe travels to you and your friend. It was nice talking to you. What a nice, what a nice old man. Alright, there's Mike. Let's talk to these, uh, these guys. Yeah, fuck it, let's talk to them. How's the pizza? Pizza's great, actually. I think Moe's, Moe's might have ruined other pizzas for us. It's our first time in the area, uh, where are you headed? We're on our way to a conference in the next town over with my buddy here. We just stopped to eat whenever the place whenever a place looks interesting. This place definitely has a cozy vibe. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you? Local or just passing through? Uh, just passing through. Interesting. Uh, I better get back to this pizza. You have a safe trip. And be careful. Be care in the snow. Enjoy the pizza. Talk to all the NPCs in the pizzeria. Let's fucking go. This guy's not talking to me. <clears throat> Alright. What's up, big... Are you ignoring me, Mike? What the fuck? 
Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and veggie. And for you, miss, oh, we gotta get most special, we gotta get veggie, and we gotta get uh, a margarita. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just pizza today? What do you mean, just pizza today, dude? How do you not have a soda with your, with your pizza? Mike made, Mike made me pay. Your order number is 27. <gasps> Yo, let's go. I'm telling you, 27 is everywhere. It is everywhere. Hey, thanks for paying, Mike. Oh, you know what? No, he's driving. He's driving. That's 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 a rule that you that you should always go by. Is if you're not if you're being driven someplace, you should pay for gas, pay for food, or something, or or you know something. Get the cheese. Just the cheese. Shit. I got everything but the cheese. Great. I wonder if we're gonna we're gonna hallucinate. Since my cows disappeared, I take care of my sorrows with burgers. I haven't eaten anything this delicious in a long time. Petrine, I miss you. Come home. I promise to sow more grass. Come and see for yourself. Burgers so delicious, your eyes will pop out of your own. What is this guy doing, dude? Who is this dude? Long sniff? What is wrong with you? It smells so good in here. Long sniff. What's up, Hana? Welcome in. Okay. Alright. Um. Oh my god, this is way too many messages to go through, dude. Friends, three ever. Eva. Jesus Christ, dude. We're on the road, Nora. Let us know when you get going, okay? Here's. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear I'll get on the road as soon as I can. That's Lily Pichu. Last up. That's so I'm cool. Bore you with all of the details. Good for her. The long and short of it is one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Aw, uh, good for her. That's awesome. One day you guys will hear me in a game. That'll be great. I'm so sorry, you guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Michael says drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. This guy... Come on, Mike. Did you listen to Nora's voice message in the group? Yes, I was here. You are with me. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. What the fuck are you talking about, Mike? You trying to get my pants? You fucking perv. Order 27, folks are right here. Let's go, dude. This doesn't look like it. Oh, well, I guess you can put. Can I sit? All right, you folks are all set. Thank you. Okay. What is this episode about? I don't know. We just started. Right now, we're on a road trip with Mike. We're a consultant named Sydney. He works someplace I don't really know or care. Uh, we're on our way to a cabin to to do like a college college buddies trip. Uh, Nora, who's our other friend, apparently is late and is driving up in the snow. And now we're enjoying those pizza. Um, three big old slices of basil. Oh damn, this pizza slaps. Settle down, bro. Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? The noises, I know, right? Damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? What the fuck you mean? It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? It's bread, you idiot. What an idiot, dude. What's up, Hustle? Thank you, man. 
You know, that's that's one of the biggest pet peeves for me. Is people who make noises when they eat. Like, especially people who smack. Like, when they, if you chew with your mouth open. Oh my god. I've had that happen at work, and I, I had to get up and leave. Hey there, my friends. Hello there. I saw y'all pull in the drive... In the... Pull in the driving. That's a nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes? That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? It's not my fucking car. I, I don't care. Uh, sure. Hold on a second. <laughs> Don't you think we need to discuss this? Isn't that what we're doing? Sure, feel free to jump in. <laughs> I'm not sure if we have extra space for another passenger. There's only two seats in there. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Sure, you can find just a little bit of room for me. I can ride in the middle. Hell, I'll ride in the bed. If he's down to ride in the bed, it's cold. Let him do his thing. It's my friend's car. I'm sorry, would, we would give you a ride, but it, it's my friend's car. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at him. He's the one that says no. It's his fucking car. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meek unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, 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 no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry. I, I just, I'm just cold and tired as hell. Tired as all. Oh my god, dude! I tried to give him a fucking ride. Are you serious? How are you going to let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? He seemed harmless. I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping can put you in a bad situation. He seemed har He was seemed harmless. He's just a fucking hippie. You you really never know these days. For all we know, you could have been another Ted Bundy harp. Yeah, but then we're, we don't have to deal with taxes. I feel that. I knew a girl who bit their silverware when she ate. Oh, that's even... That's like... Ooh. Yeah. 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 It's like, I, I, I enjoy ASMR. Um, oh shit, we can burp? Let's go. Uh, uh. I burped twice. Ah. <laughs> like, the ASMR where people are eat, eating and chewing and all that stuff like that, I'm not a fan of that at all. I really don't like that. He stared you down. Yeah, he's like, he's been trying to get in my pants this entire time, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make him be like, you sure you want this? You sure you want this? I'm for, right now. I'm picturing myself as Sydney Sweeney, because my name is Sydney in this game. So if he's gonna have to put in that work, all right then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Give me the keys. I don't want to drive. Let's see if my GPS is right. Should be about another hour. Give me. I don't want to. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break while I drive. Michael, I'm gonna drive so you can get a break. Take uh... I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you didn't give me the keys. Give me the keys so we can go. Look at this guy behind him. That's fucking hilarious. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? Uh, I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there deal whatever dude just give me the fucking keys we can leave still hit sydney was burping let's go hey you guys take it easy you gonna talk to me now dude damn man i'm sorry bro <clears throat> would have been nice to have a conversation with you what is this what? all right I, you guys, you guys all saw I tried to give the hitchhiker a ride. I was trying to be nice. I don't know why it didn't let me. Yo, thank you, Crunchy. Um, it's a black screen. What's going on here? Uh, that took. That was a long loading screen. 5:49 p.m. 
W. This is your host on WK. We should be getting pretty close. You remember the address? Bringing you the best two. Two four one Woodbury Boulevard. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set. Well, might as well see what happens. <laughs> I crashed Mike's truck. Fuck it, dude. Let's go. In. Oh, I was gonna say let's go on the wall. Let's go on the ocean. The ocean. Let's go on the lake. <laughs> hey, man, you wanted me to drive, bro. I was out of practice with driving. It was a very cold night. Oh, did we have to get out anyways? What is he doing? Why are we getting out here, Harp? I don't know, dude. Let's get our stuff, bro. Shit, I think I messed up. I, I should... I hope I don't have to fucking restart. I really hope I don't have to restart. I might have messed up. This happened last time. Shoot. I'm sorry guys, I think I might, I might we might have to restart here. Is this the is this the this is I think this looks like the Woodbury house. Doesn't say nothing. Shit, he's not coming he's not coming along. I might have I think I messed up. I shouldn't have uh Drive slow, make sure. Okay. I might have to restart. Restart. Look at him, he's just walking. He's walking in place. I think I broke the game. I wanted to see if maybe we could like, go into the water. But this is the second time this has happened where this, because the creator of this has made something where, like, if you drive off the edge, it's almost it's impossible to back up. It's impossible to back up. This is the second. This is like the second time this has happened. This is not my fault. This is a game design flaw. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna restart. Sorry, everybody. Let's try it again. All music in this game is copyright free, which is good. That's really smart. That's what the that's what what game designer should always try to do. Fuck, I really hope I don't have to restart. Uh, welcome to Woodbury. There we go. Okay. At least this one has chapters. We don't have to start all over from the beginning. It's a lot of um, long cutscenes. Okay, now we'll, we'll take it seriously this time. Vermont, this is your host on WKWB, your hometown station. Two forty-one. Warm your hearts on this chilly night. I wish As there was a way to exit to the main menu. I think that's another kind of game design flaw. Like, why why can't you go to the main menu from the game? Two forty one says to go slow. You guys ever driven a truck? I guess for 
Bro. Gotta be careful for black eyes. Anybody doing anything fun for Halloween? Drove a U-Haul. U-Hauls are yeah. I feel like those can be pretty freaky because because they're so they're so they can be so like top heavy. Uh, do you, do you have the do you have a GPS system? I don't know where to go, dude. Woodbury. Okay, so I go right here. Yeah, move, moving trucks I feel could be pretty pretty tricky, especially like backing up and stuff. If you if you ever had to back up or park it like double park it or parallel park, I feel like that would be really tough. All right, so that's not the house. None of this is the house. Trick or treating with the kids. Might go get a costume and trick or treat myself. Again. That's what I'm saying. What what uh what costume would you go get? Is this it? Harp, you sure we can park here? Oh wait, is this the is this the house though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is this 241? I don't know if that's 241. I did see a um I did see a couple <laughs> I did I did see a couple Pokemon I did see a couple Pokemon costumes at Walmart the other day. And I thought that'd be kinda cool to, to get a Pokemon costume for when I play TCG or something. I like I like costumes. I'm not a I'm not against wearing costumes. Sometimes it's just not the greatest when it's too hot. Pass out candy to the kids. About the mummy movies with Brendan Fraser just having a pizza, chill pizza night. Nice. I haven't seen those movies in a long time. I think the address was 241 Woodbury. Well, I don't. I can't see. You said you had a GPS system, and I can't even. See, I don't see the GPS system in here. You're not getting any. You're not getting any points, Mike. You're not helping. That car just disappeared. Didn't know there was three of them. Yeah, well, because there's the original, right? Then the then there's the Mummy Returns, and then there's then the the last one. I'm not sure what the last one is, but I think the Mummy the it's the Mummy Return has the Rock, right? Or the it's not the Scorpion King. That's 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 just the Rock. I think. All right, can we see, is there a way I can look up the, two forty one Wood Woodbury? That's a gas station, so we still got to go a bit. Probably shouldn't speed too much here. Okay, now we're in Woodbury. 241. I wish there was a better way to see. Have you ever driven in snow? Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's this place called Big Bear in California. And um, it can get really, really, really snowy. And there's like black ice. And they actually put like a, uh, a sign that like if you don't have chains, like you, you can't go any further kind of a thing. It, black, black ice freaks me the freaks me out i i would respect black ice and any snow bro where do i go where do i go from here my guy i think yeah but uh what what is it woodbury avenue right okay so we're on we're, we are on woodbury but i just I, we need to try to find the address i need to i'm trying to find it it's something with a number so that I can see how far we're going. Oh, there it is, 241. It's right there. 
That looks crazy ominous as hell. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I don't like that. All right, so it's right here. This is this is this is the cabin or whatever. It's right here. I'm gonna. Here we are. Yeah, thanks, buddy. My legs fell asleep. One second. Let me. I. I. Let me pull. Whatever, dude. Slid too many times on that up in Michigan. Yeah, see, that's the other reason why like living in the west or the midwest kind of freaks me out a little bit is because of just like the harsh harsh weather conditions that like can just ruin your day or you just oh i need to get my my stuff um this is gonna sound really mean or maybe bad but i love the sound of car crap like car crunching and so I actually used to watch a lot of those videos um, of like people trying to go up a hill and it has black ice and it's like a big truck and all the cars on the side, right? And they're all crashed. And then this truck tries to go up and then it's just like, it gets to a point and the tires just start spinning, but it's not going anywhere. And then it falls backwards and just, oh, idiots, 5176. Five, one, seven, six. Great. Sliding cars in Washington? Yeah. Come on in, Mike. Can I lock this door? Uh, what a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here, right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. Alright. The house was cozy and well furnished. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to... I need to... I need to tell this guy... Blah, blah, blah. Checked in. Oh, man. He's gonna be like, You never told me you checked in, so I'm gonna come and knock on the door. Used to used to black eyes, but still. Man. My stepson totaled his truck because of black eyes. It's, yes, that's like I understand. Like it's it's such a terrible thing, and it free it just it really does freak me out. Oh, okay. It's a lot of milk. Had to close the mini fridge before picking it up. What? And floating yogurt. The brick wall in the kitchen is 10 out of 10. Sorry about that. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Hang on, I really need to pee. All the groceries are away. Thanks for handling that harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anywhere anymore. It's cute. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. Hang on, I really need to pee. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking the bags. Thanks. Okay. So I'm gonna. Shut the yeah, this actually really is nice. The the brick wall. That's this. Yeah, this definitely fits that very cozy rustic um, cabin feel which is nice the smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike I love all brick homes or like the old brick apartments you see in movies yeah 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 um, so I, I 
I don't I don't know if I've shared this, but I'm really into like interior design and ar architectural design, all that stuff like that. Um, press escape to text Rick. Who the hell's Rick? Um. Oh, here we go. Here's Rick. Hi, we've checked in. Okay, great. Okay, so we checked in. Um, but there was this video game, or like a, a phone game, that you could actually design. It was like an interior design game that you could pick a multitude of different like walls and floors and like pillows and all this stuff. It was really really cool, and you would you would be able to to say like just focus on a bathroom, make the bathroom the best you can, and then you would post it, and um people would vote on what would be like the best you know the the best looking um best looking interior design for whatever room you were working on it's really cool and and a lot of it was like bricks it was really cool to use brick to use brick walls and stuff like that in kitchens or um even in like some living rooms and stuff like that you feeling better after the drive i'm good Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. Okay. After you. Okay. What was this? Oh, it was a basement. Did I ever mention House Flipper to you? Uh, I, I, I have heard of it. Like, it's, it's like a house flipping simulator or something like that, right? Alright, here we go. So here's a basement. This is good to know. We need to know about the basement. A totally normal basement. Reminds me of your college dorm room. Are you sure I don't smell the long beach kush here? Oh shit, they're from Cali? Let's go. Couldn't open the door. Okay, so there's something. But what I'm what I'm looking for right now is another one of those rooms where you have to be quiet. Because that's gonna be our safe room. So maybe it's in here. Yeah. Okay. This is what I thought. So we're probably we're gonna have to be in here at some point in the game and and be quiet okay this is good to know it's down this is down here he joins you fucking seven minutes in heaven Mike crusty ass lips hey you know who he kind of looks like Ms Kiff okay so at least we know in the basement in the basement is where our safe room is over here okay also it's kind of nice having a little dude like this or having this guy around as well make sure so anyone out here let's go outside first let's go outside Mike come on you and me buddy close the door what is this? Nice little fire pit. That's cool. Basketball hoop. I hear water. I hear like a creek or something. It's getting really cold. That's not. Is that it? Yeah, that's a that's a creek right there. That's really nice. That's really pretty. Oh, you can go over here. Let's go. It's a big map. So we got some. Let's sit sit down a little bit, Mike. It's been a while since I went fishing. Actually, where are you? Sit down with me. Me too. All right. Well, that was a nice conversation. There's a tank here, barbecue. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just I'm trying to get acquainted with where everything is for this map to make sure that I know where to go and stuff like that, just in case. Okay, we have this place in here. This guy must really like fishing. It can be fun. Yeah, fishing is cool. I haven't done fishing in a long time, but I always 
thought it could be really, really calming. There's a nice park near me that uh, a lot of people fish. And it's really small, too. But people still have fun with it. What's up, dude? You alright? Okay, so you can come in here, too, but apparently it's not a safety safety spot. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it's nice. It's a very it has a very big big layout. I mean, we haven't even gone upstairs or really even checked out the lower level as much too. I mean, obviously there's this kitchen. This kitchen's killer. Really really smart idea to use the the like checkered um or plaid uh dish rag. When did you start cooking? I'm full of surprises, Wink. Oh, I bet you are, you fucking weirdo. Fish edible or like catch and release park? I think it's it's. I'm pretty sure it's a catch and release. Got cornflakes. Okay, well, let's see. We got the bathroom in here, right? So we have just regular room. Oh, that's cozy as hell. Buy a dog and then buy a car for that. This living room is bigger than my apartment. Some high -end insurance. All right, let's leave that off for right now, and. Let's see in here. This is an interesting room. Chess, Ouija, Ouija board. I don't want to do the Ouija board. Let me leave me alone. Um. Okay. Record players, shoots and ladders, kind of a thing. Tower stack. All right, let's go, dude. This is a game room, buddy. We have a lot of catch and release. I think to eat the fish, we have to travel to like an actual great lake. Oh, that's that would be that'd be a nice trip though. What's it called? Um, you have to have a license too, if I'm not mistaken, in order to have to do to do like actual eating fish, right? Okay, food, bro. Get out of my. All right, here's a laundry flashlight. There we go. We need that. Jeez, dude, you got any little privacy in here, huh? Settle down, Miz. No, yeah, there's definitely, um, there's definitely fishing license. There's, I, I can't, I think there's a place in Cali too that, like, if you get caught, uh, especially in, like private property, like you can, yeah, you can definitely. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Who the fuck are you, dude? I saw. I knew it was something. About, hey, hey, you're here. You scared us. Oopsie Daisy. Didn't mean to. Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. Uh, no, no, no. We're not a couple. We're just friends. I'm down to just say we're a couple. I'm fine. Oh. Uh, oopsie Daisy. Silly me. Yeah. Dude, what's up with your eyes, dude? We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV was uh, has been on the fritz in here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. I respect that. Speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. I already fucking walked around, you dumbass. Yeah, oopsie daisy. My mistake. It'd be a bad. I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the ground tour. Okay. All right, but I'm I'm fucking. The host was middle-aged man with nervous energy. All right, turn that shit off. All right. At least at least Mike is here. But I have. Well, what if Mike dies? Um. All right. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Nice. Uh, the sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll get it fixed for you real soon. No, just just don't worry about fixing it. Let us stay. I'll use another sink. Let me show you the uh, other bedroom now. I'm mean, just fucking flashing this light. And wait a minute. There's only two bedrooms? Look, Harp. This room has a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Alright. Here's the laundry room. Alright, here's the deck. This is a nice deck, I do agree. Man, this is a very nice deck. Holy smokes! Holy Kalito! This is incredible. Definitely. 
glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch the cold here again. You're wearing a t-shirt, dude. It's It's got to be like 30 degrees. I, I hope Nora shows up. I don't I don't want to be the only woman here, dude. I'm not not digging that. Uh, what's guy? Uh, here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. We might not need it. I'm using it right now in your face. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. All right. Yeah, because we didn't just spend all the time down there. Right. Okay, everyone goes upstairs first before checking out the downstairs. A oh, big ass bear. Alrighty, folks, I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty foods. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter. I better show you folks the water heater. I'm not going to touch any of that. I'm probably going to end up cooking later though too. Okay, so we're going downstairs. Is it common for owners to greet you with Airbnb? I stick with hotels. It has happened before. I've seen videos of like Airbnb hosts like all of a sudden just walking in the door and people being like, what the hell are you doing here? But in general, no. I stayed in Colorado one time, and I stayed in the downstairs basement um, area, which was super decked out. It was so cool. I'm actually friends with those two on Facebook, and um, that was my area. It had like a den area, restroom, kitchen, and bedroom, and bathroom private from the main house upstairs. But there was <laughs> there was one morning I remember waking up, and I just see this little girl at the doorway just staring at me, and the mic, the, the grandpa like, was like, I'm so sorry, and, and she, he was like, Riley, you can't just come in here, and I'm like, look at him, and she was cute, she was like, like, four years older than that, but yeah, you usually know Airbnbs, you're not supposed to, like, have the owner just there, uh, nothing to worry about down here, just the water heater and some old storage stuff, if it ever stops working, just hit the bottom, or hit the button at the bottom, the pilot light will fire right back up and you'll be back in business. Okay, so right here, that's the button we're going to look at. But as prices, as prices have gone up with Airbnb, people are going back to like staying at hotels. Because, it, because Airbnbs are charging people for like cleaning fees and shit like that now, it's ridiculous. Hey sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourself over with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Yeah, well, there's, there's the cleaning cleaning fees, and just there's a bunch of other stuff, too, that I think Airbnb hosts can sometimes try to sneak in processing fees and all that stuff like that. Did I mention it? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, said they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Well, Mike, you wanted to be under a hundred dollars. I would have pitched out the 250. Hey, hey, hey. The looks on your face is hey, hey, hey. I'm just joking. I, I could, at this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging at around 6 out of 10. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. Uh, I'm going to hit the road now. i got to find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. Okay. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate you. See, he calls me pretty, Mike. What the fuck do you call me? Huh? Is it just me, or is that dude super weird? Uh, I mean, he's a little off, but I don't think he's, like, too crazy weird. You know what I mean? Like, I'll, I'll agree with Mike just so that... But what if he's listening to us? 
Anyway, okay. I don't even. I'm not even gonna say anything. I don't want to get on the old man's bad side. Let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Cool. Find something to watch while you're in there. It better not be me. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks. See you in a bit. Let's see what. So see what Mike puts on. He's gonna. Better, better not be porn, Mike. Oh, snowboarding? Let's go. Oh, sledding. <laughs> I, I, I actually really enjoy sledding. Um, it's always nice to find a nice spot when you're going up to the mountains and then seeing a bunch of people. Wait. Do I have my own rushroom in here? No. Alright, is there any other space? This is this is why this is why I double check another spot that we have to know. Childhood memories, yeah, it's just fun. Sledding, sledding is just so cool. I've seen some people eat shit. All right, so here's the shower with the with the flashlight. I imagine in the in Canada and in Midwest, there's some really nice places to um, to sled and stuff like that. Really, really good mountain ranges for snowboarding and snow sports and stuff. Okay, I didn't need to use the towel. Okay, oh some slippers. I want to use the slippers. Some slippity slip slips. I didn't have to pee? Okay. Pillow? That's a nice little pillow. Wait. So you can check out here. A lot of the ski resorts have sledding areas and then a rope you to pull you up the hill. I've seen the ropes. I've never used that before. I only thought that would be usable at like the bunny the bunny slope level because it's not too high up. I stick with skiing because I put toilet. <laughs> too much money and to spend a day sledding. Yeah, I've, I heard skiing can be extremely expensive. I know, I've only tried it a couple times. I was more in the snowboard realm. Hey Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shit. Plan to catch dinner? Now that you mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to this trip. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Follow me. There's another rod in the shed so we can both give you a shot. Okay, let's go, dude. I'm down. This is, you know what? This is actually really nice to have Mike around as well. It just, the, the other episodes feel so lonely. And it, and it like adds the f creepiness factor, but having Mike here, I might just give him my hand in marriage. If he asks, if he asks me on this trip, I might say yes. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Harp? Yeah, just give me a second. I'm hoping he's not going to turn around and be some weird, weird creeper. I mean, he is. He's 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 trying. He's he's definitely got a crush on me. I understand. I'm 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 a fucking catch. You know what I mean? Uh, snap, I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. Well, need to catch three carp though, you up for a challenge? Yes. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you are ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp harp. Let me grab the bait. Oh, speak actually, speaking of uh, getting married, I, I definitely do still have that, uh, the boyfriend, or the girlfriend finder. It's our girlfriend dating sim thing that I could still play to. Um, 
Let's see, for carp, we want the cheese delight or the sweet corn is what we want. So we want the che right cheese. Yeah, do we want the cheese? My hands were full. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, all right, well, I'll get the cheese. Put on my hook. Come on, Harvey, it's this way. I hope Mike does live, though. I actually, he's a little goofy, but he's a little goofy, but we'll, we'll he's all right. I just, I'm hoping, oh, we still need to wait for Nora, too. She's supposed to be coming. This guitar wasn't here earlier. Uh, I hope those carp are biting today. Yeah, let's put this on. Can I, can I put the... Alright, okay, I already did put the bait. Because this is definitely how you fish. You hold your bait like this. Oh shit, what the fuck? This sucks. You know, I think the old saying is right, a bad day of fishing is still better than a good day of work. Whatever, dude. I can reel in with one hand. I decay what you're talking about. I'm the light Hercules. Like this? How do you reel with one hand? Because you have to, like, would you go like this? Good morning. How are you doing, Hoosier? Stick it under the armpit. That's what I, okay. So that's what I was doing. Like, so it's like this. So you're just kind of. Is there a way to? Is there a way to just keep? This is this is terrible. What a terrible mechanic. It like it doesn't it, it won't just stay in spot in one spot when you press A A and D. It's either left or right and it just keeps going. At least this music is a nice little change. There we go, there we go, there we go. Come on. Oh my god, finally. Keep, okay. Let's say whenever there's one carp, they say whenever there's one carp, there's always more. I, I would like to go to the, uh, the Great Lakes. I I imagine that they have some really, really, really nice sunsets out there. Take a nice boat, boat out there. That was far. Beautiful sunsets, I have no doubt. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit, a little bit more space here to catch it. Just that first one. First one was just annoying. Bluegill throwback. We're looking for carp. We're not looking for. We're not looking for. Um, no, we're we're looking for for for, for cod, right? Or, that's what we want. My closest beach is about 40 minutes away, Lake Erie. Oh, nice. That's pretty. That's pretty pretty close. That's not that's that's nice. 
bluegill. Throw back. He says we, he, we need to have three, we're trying to look for three cod is what we're looking for. So we got one cod, we need two more. This music kind of reminds me of uh, Minecraft music. There we go, we got a common car uh, carp, that's what it was, carp. Not, not a, just one more carp left, you got this. Why don't you do some fishing, bro? This was your idea, dude. We had, like, we had frosted flakes inside. Is there, is there, a, is there a, uh, a great, a great lake that's better than the other? I, I mean, it's kind of a, not the best thing to say, because, you know, I'm sure they're all great in their own way, but is there one that, that you guys would prefer more than the other? Or that you would recommend to go as, like, a first time? God, dude. Come on, fish. Fish. Dude, this this is this has got to be the, this is this is a dumb mechanic. This is such a dumb mechanic. All right, I don't care. I, I Lake Superior is very clean and uh, and like see-through waters, but that's all the way up north, borderline Canada. Superior as well, that or Lake Huron. Nice. a lot of cheese is there any mountain ranges that that you could see the Great Lakes at like if you're going skiing or snowboarding or anything like that I feel like that would be an insane view is to like be able to ski or snowboard and then like also have the view of a, of a huge lake like that okay, that'd be really cool I'm trying to think if Arrowhead or Big Bear have that it's been, it's been so long since I've snowboarded in that bass it's, it's a nice place crazy some of the views that you can get on earth I feel like that would be um, I feel like that'd be a really 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 nice sunset like imagine like a, 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 a what's it called um, a um, bucket list sunset would be like on Everest like obviously that's like probably never gonna happen but that would still be pretty fucking cool yeah yeah Cal the California mountains are really are really nice some good snow resorts this guy's not even throwing his line in oh there okay there he goes it, sh it should not take him this long to buy to get one carp There we go. It's three. All right, Harp. Looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back and throw these in the oven? Yes. I don't want to be here anymore. This is ridiculous. 
waste my damn time, dude. You didn't you didn't catch shit, Mike. You didn't catch a damn thing. You suck at fishing. I got so used to the uh I got so used to the nice the, the nice um I don't want there okay, there we go. I got so used to the nice um the nice music. Was he already did he already come inside? Oh there he is, okay. Thank god. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Uh, sure. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and more yogurt. Alright. So there's the bowl. So we need to. Oh, that's good. It gives us everything. So there's the salt. Put that in there. Put some pepper. Italian seasoning. Ginger. Paprika. We need olive oil and yogurt. Uh, where's the olive oil? Whoops! I don't want the. I don't want the milk. I don't I don't want the I don't want the fucking milk. Oh my god. Alright, here's the yogurt. What up, Peachy? How you doing, buddy? We are uh trying not to die in this game. You seen the you hey, you've seen the olive oil at all? Big Mike. Big money Mike. Hold your horses, the fish will be right out. I'm just looking for olive oil. How's the new apartment, dude? Alright, dude. Do you mind throwing the fish and the mar uh, and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies? Sure. Fish. Fish. All we really do is using two fish, huh? Two carps, marinade. Alright. Good, just woke up. It's getting, it's getting there. Nice. I kid you had the veggies. I read uh, it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. All right. Well, here's milk for some odd, stupid reason. All right, there you go. Um, let's do this. Let's do this for 40 minutes. Wait, 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 wait. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the room next to the living room. Which one? Let's just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the living room next to the living room. I think you. I'm not picking Ouija board. I'm not picking a Ouija board. You got another thing coming if you think I'm picking the Ouija board, bro. Alright. You're, you're trying to you're trying to freak me out, Mike. Why is this still open? Alright, so we got chess, we got whispers in the dark, we got mega round eight, we got stack tower stack, shoots and ladders, and we and I'm not doing Ouija board. What what are you what are we thinking? And there's also uh Katopoli. That's pretty cool. Katopoli, that's nice. Uh Dragon's Labyrinth, Snakes and Ladders. What is this? Star Titan Force. What's everybody want to play tonight? Mega rounds. What what everybody feeling? I feel like tower stack is kind of chill, pretty easy to go. Katop Katopoli. It's it's got cats, but it'll probably take forever to finish. Dragons Labyrinth for any Dungeons and Dragons nerds. Snakes and ladders. Mega round eight. What's this one again? Oh, Ouija. Yes, 
you know, time for that shit. Un unravel the secrets, immerse yourself in the mystery. We're already doing enough mystery with this damn game. We'll do tower stack. Oh, where was the other other room? That's a hidden room. It was um, the closet, right? It was upstairs, I think. It was upstairs closet. What, what did he say? All right, big boy. Start off. I gotta just draw a loop. Okay. I was always pretty dang decent at, um, what's it called, um, the drawing game in Mario Party. Or like the, the tracing game, I was always really good at that one. Let's see. Let's so say he chose one from down here. Let's do something in the middle. Something like this. I wonder if this um, this soundtrack is similar to if it's the same composer from um, from um, Minecraft. Alright, so that we, we made the middle section tough, so he's gonna have to. I can see the tower shaking already, yeah. I'll make your legs shake tonight, bro. Yeah, is it C418? Is it C418? Is C419? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what Mike. What is he saying, Mike? Whose legs are you making shake? Weirdo. I want to roll here. I'll roll you on out of here. Uh, this is how it's done. You're a little bitch, dude. You took from the top. All right, let's do. Uh, let's do this one. It's kind of nice that they um, added this little, these kind of like little mini games into this game, instead of it just being straight story. Definitely makes it a little bit more immersive. <laughs> you suck, Mike. How about a rematch? No, that took way too fucking long. That was a fun game. Harvey did really well. Thanks, Mike. All right, the carp should be just about done. Let's grab some plates. I'm starving. Wait, 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 wait. Can is there any way that I could put this? Can I close this? Close these blinds or anything like that? I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. Where is Nora? Why has Nora not shown up yet? Why are why are why is Mike not afraid of Nora not being here? I don't like that. Well, I guess someone's got to turn the TV on. It's not going to be Mike. Asparagus chocolate cake with a spoonful 
of mayonnaise. This delicacy is very Gordon Ramsay. popular in Romania. Oh, I didn't get mayonnaise my plate. Flows down the rivers like Thank you, Mike, for being such a gentleman water. serving me as well. So first, we are going to prepare the asparagus. Season these with a lot of salt. Salt is good for the bones. Just making sure there's no one. In the salt bath. No one's a, no one's outside or anything like that. Take a couple cocoa beans. Cocoa beans. Uh, yes, the cocoa beans need to be blended into the sauce with a little bit of vinegar. Gotta keep that fancy flavor in there. Uh. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. We stir fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I don't get it. I'm gonna lie. This is gonna taste. Am I looking for like a utensil or something? But Maybe. You are Listening to my cooking instructions. This is the brain of the mayonnaise. Uh, we, we gotta inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets very uh, as we're trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together. Plates. No. Inside the oven. Okay. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetite. Gasoline soaked ramen. Why don't you grab a seat, Harp? Okay. I try, but you to make a dish only for experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will need oh, my God. is gasoline. Sorry, buddy. It's and <laughs> sit, 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 sit on his lap. Really Feed me the fish, the Mike. Feed me some carp. Almost like a high-end cleanse. We begin by pouring the most the romantic meal in the pot. world. Make sure not to use whole gasoline since it's really bad for you. Maybe use 2% or half and half. Do not use diesel. Oh, sorry. So after letting the gasoline come to a boil, we can put in our ramen. I'm using some oh, stuff ramen. I found in my grandmama's basement. Grandmama's. You can use whatever kind you like. This ramen will taste fantastic oh. once the gasoline fully soaks. Th this guy I was working with yesterday and I were talking about um, kind of pho scientific. and ramen. I don't know if you guys have any really good ramen places or pho where you're at. With the that, it's uh, starting to get to be that weather. That was now some damn fine food. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. Our it was really good. We make a great team. If hey, anyways, I need to check my emails fire, really quick. Sure Left my laptop upstairs. Thought we were fire, taking a break from work. Sure. It's not work. I'm just waiting well, on hey, shipment uh, details for uh, my new uh, DS. Damn, okay, uh, nerd. I'll be right back. All right. Okay, I'll do the dishes until then, I guess. But, but not to worry. I know someone who will. Yo, Grandma! Yo, I made you food! No, no, no. It's not, it's not poison. It's not poison. Look. <laughs> Wow, Loki sound like a loot sound like elusive a little bit there. Okay, I heard I did hear a door, but I'm pretty sure that was just Mike. Okay. Take this just in case. Always read text messages. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Okay. He's 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 playing a trick. He's playing he's playing a prank.
fuck you, Mike. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I knew it. Even though I knew he was coming, it still got me. What the hell? You're like I didn't break your nose, you son of you goddamn asshole. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? Oh, it was not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? Next round. How about a game of hide and seek? I, I no, I don't want to do this. Whatever you say, Sydney Sweeney. All right, I'll count to ten. Okay, great. So now I gotta fucking hide. Oh, so this is where I decided to hide in the basement. That's where I was already going. Relaxation in our refurbished cabins. Now, not only are these cabins cheap, but they are also safe. Each cabin having a designated. All right, I'm gonna have to be quiet for a little bit, guys. For that same dog. One year warranty on all new models from 2005 to 2006, only $299.99 a year. We offer dirt cheap coverage for quality vehicles. You'll never find better prices anywhere, especially not at our competitor, Dave's Dealership, because we're the best. Dog purchased from our dealership are certified pure bread and butter in breed diamond.
you, Katie? I forgot, because I was trying to stay quiet. Is there another place I can go in here? No, I don't think so. Inside to hide the tools. Right, so I can kind of watch from here. I, I... Shit. Stay in the corner. I like that line where it said you're the only you're the only pussy around here. That was really cute that the cat was there. Aha, there you are. Damn, Harp, it took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is doing whatever. My turn, close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired, bro. Look I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. Oh, this is where he's gonna die. <laughs> I'll hide in the house, we're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. No, where is Nora? I was clicking so fast, I didn't even get to see what the... Um end was. I want to see if I can play this guitar. Nope. Okay, so we do know... We do know where the uh, two hiding places are, which is good. And want it cheap, visit rentacabin.com. All right, it's not here. It's not here. This is stupid. This is a dumbass game, dude. We're grown ass fucking adults, man, playing hide and go seek. That's what I would do, too. But. All right, so he's not in here. He's not. In there. <laughs> that was a terror. That scream was so bad. <laughs> What's happened? What's going on here? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you in here? He no, he did. He did say he was going to come back. He did say he was going to come back and fix the plumbing. He said that. He he said that. Fixing the faucet. Yeah, I got a problem with that. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever you ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Can I tell him that we found the cat? Just got here a couple minutes ago. Um. If you heard anything before that, it must have been that old lady, remember? No, it was it was the cat. Look, we need to go to bed now. Do you think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, I know, Rick, she's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I don't really want to have to call law enforcement. It's his house, Mike. Let me handle this shit. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. What? You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing a faucet? That's... The, listen, man, don't worry about Mike. He doesn't think things all the way through. He didn't, he didn't even pay for my pizza. I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. No. Can I tell him? Don't call me if it starts Lincoln again. I want to tell you that we found your fucking cat. Mike, you idiot. 
he's not even a bad guy. I want to know that. Come on, dude. I follow him. Follow him home this time. These cutscenes are super, or these uh, loading screens are super young, are super long. After locking the door, we debated. We debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. I don't think there was anything off about Rick from the start. He was a little bit weird, but that's it. I don't think he like he just was fixing the house. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. By, but by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. Okay, great. So now this is now we're starting to get into the spooky spookiness. So everyone, buckle up. All right. So someone's knocking on my freaking door. What do you want, Mike? Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. Oh, God. He's gonna... He's going to uh, confess his feelings to me. Can I turn on the light? I, I'm, I'm... Oh, man. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope... I hope Nora is okay. It's really got. I hate that Nora is out there all alone. Yeah. She'll be fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. Uh, that's nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the fucking place. You know what I mean, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You've also been a little difficult to deal with. I'm not... You know what? Mike seems like he's about to snap, and I don't want him to kill me. Me too. Uh... It, it'll help if we both get some sleep. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Oh, Jesus, dude. Why don't you fucking go to bed, Mike? Ms. Kiff? I'm gonna, call him, I'm gonna start calling him Ms. Kiff now. Why don't you take a seat? Nah, Mike, bye. Yeah, no, straight up. This is a little, little, little bit much. Harp, you know... Okay, they're, they're college friends. I think he's always had a crush on her. But this is uh, not the right place and time to do it when I was literally just sleeping. I've missed this. Us just talking. It's been too long. You know. You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Would you be doing this if... Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Are Nora and Mike together? Where is this coming from? Where is this coming from? Oh, is he gonna is he gonna come in and kiss me? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty. I do remember it pretty, really well. Oh yeah, I do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Maybe. SOS, please. Oh shit, something's going on with Nora. 
like I don't know what to say. I, I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. I don't know what to say. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Like I don't think this is a good time. All right, he's looking at his phone as well. Uh, drive slow. Okay. Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. Yeah, There's it's Lily, Lily Pichu. The road. Called it's that in the beginning. To see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? I'm, f I'm fine with this. Yeah, I think she was in another game too recently that that um that um she voiced over to and I thought it was like I'm actually really stoked for her. I know Valkyrie is also doing some voiceover work as well. I'd l I would love to get into that 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 world. What a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. No, we can't. We better get. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, we can't. We better get ready. No, Cindy, you stay here and get sleep. There's no god damn it, Mike. Oh no. You stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's really nice, Mike. Are you sure? I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. Son of a bitch, dude. I don't want him to go alone. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to, sure. Oh, I, I, I don't like this. Couldn't reach it without the steps. Okay. Alright, so I gotta make sure we gotta remember that this room is a safe room that we can use. Was Queso? I don't watch Queso, so I don't I don't know his voice. I just know his yells, I guess. The news station diner. I mean there's only the there's only the pizza pizza place here today. That's really cool. I, I think that's awesome that this uh, this game designer reached out to fellow gamers to uh, to voice in the game. I, I also think it's really smart that he decided to use copywritten or copyright free. Did he just leave the door open? Oh, uh, copyright free music as well because he, he knew streamers were going to use this or YouTubers. So it's I think that's really smart. Hey, why don't you uh, get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Yeah, I'll think I'll... Are you sure it's safe? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? All right, before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. He's one of those, where's my hug? Where's my hug at? Give him a hug. This could be the last time I fucking see him. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep. Sweet. Drive safe, Mike. It was freezing cold outside. Mike was off. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Okay. All right. I'm back. Don't ban me. How many times have we died? Oh, we haven't died yet. There's been a couple like just mini jump scares. Nothing too crazy, but yeah, it's just right now it's been it's been setting up for the scary time. Now, now it's starting to get to be the spooky moments. Now we're going to get some sleep. I'm sure we're going to start hearing things. We did find a cat, which was cool. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up, and I needed it more by the minute. 
With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. That's just how that's that's just how wired uh wired wired talks, George. So the doorbell. Dumbo was someone was at the front door. Okay, 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 okay. So that's open. And what is the other one? Is it in here? Oh, it was downstairs in the um, in the basement is the other hiding spot. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death. Well, shit. Wait, what the fuck is the... Where's the... I'm hiding. Okay, he's still okay, so I still have to I still have to answer the door for a little bit here. Okay. Hell, see now my heart race is, is getting is lifting up. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door, I'm freezing to death out. The realization is Do you have any idea what time it is? Hello? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on the door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. Uh, you can sit on the porch while you wait. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be a big ass bitch <laughs> here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Please just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. That's true. Speaking of, I don't see your fella's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911 now. Suit yourself. Oh god. get some sleep all right so we let him so just right now it's just karma's a bitch he's upset it's the guy he's the guy that was from the um the the pizza place that he asked for a ride i wanted to give him a ride but it was it was mike saying no he can't get a ride so this is mike's fault it is always the men messing things up Oh shit, what the fuck was that? I'm just gonna stay in bed. I heard someone yell. At this point I had no choice but to call for help. Text Rick. I'm gonna text in here. Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone. He was banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared. I think I hear him moving around outside the house. Could you please come look inside? Since you live so close. I, 
this point, I had no to had no choice but to call for help. I did call for help. Rent a cabin. Okay. Messages. SOS. Nora. Can't wait to give you the biggest hug. Michael. Uh, Yo harp, your cell keeps going straight to voicemail. Take are coming back. Damn, but we're just booked. No point. I think someone's under my bed. Oh shit. What the hell's going on here? Uh, Rick, I'm so glad you came. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Oh, did he kill him? Let's go, dude. Oh shit, he hit him! By the way, where's your friend, the guy who was with you earlier? Mike, he went to pick up our other friend. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Shit, he's gonna kill us. You wanna fix the faucet, dude? Fix the fucking faucet. I don't I don't care, dude. I would much rather have running running water. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Yeah, I agree, dude. Uh, text, uh, come back over. What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? Um, it's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Thanks for coming. I'll be fine now. You sure about that? Yeah, just overreacting. Maybe I should stick around and make sure everything's really okay. You're not Rick, are you? What did you just say? Confront. This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. You need to leave right now. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house and you and me. You're trespassing. I have the receipts for the Airbnb, bro. You need to leave right now. You need to leave. I, I saying, saying anything about the cops is pointless. Because there's no cops. If anyone is leaving this house... It's you! It will be one of us. What the fuck is this guy doing? Eh? Eh? <laughs> I like how it was like, eh? Okay, well, we know not to talk to him. <laughs> Alright, so it wasn't... <laughs> At least that wasn't too bad of a- I, I had a feeling he was gonna do something or like kill us, but that was a little weird. So what was he trying to do there? Yeah, yeah, I, I got that, George. I understand. Okay. So I'm thinking, should I go- Okay, should I go upstairs into the closet or should I go into- or should I go in here, downstairs to the basement? I'm gonna go to the basement, just because it's right here. What the hell's going on here? Uh, did you see anyone outside? I might have seen something. Could have been anyone, or no one at all. Explain the situation. Alright, blah, blah 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 blah. We already saw this. I still didn't feel safe opening the door. But we already opened the door. Well, <laughs> by the way, where's your friend? He should be back soon. Come on, bud. Let's 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 move this along. We already know the lore here. Right. No, I I, I get it, George. I get it. I get it. Shit! I lost my I lost my flashlight. This is a nice little 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 change up here. I wasn't expecting um, 
this guy to, to be a creeper. You're not Rick. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, Nor, you piece of shit. Oh my god, the- mm. Okay, okay, so I need to go upstairs. I need to- okay, hold on, so- Either I either go upstairs... What's up, Hanzo? Thank you, man. Started to train him like a zombie. Hey, I just <laughs> trying to run away from. <laughs> okay, hold on. So let's let's so yeah, we're hiding in basement. So he comes up. We get the call. Nora, doors barricaded. He took the. We can't go outside. So we have to we have to go upstairs, right? That's the only way we can go. Only place we can go is upstairs. Into. The Dodgers won, so is that it? World Series? They, they won the whole thing? Because I, I, I thought they lost yesterday. Did they lose yesterday in, in New York? So they won the whole the whole World Series. Dang, what an upset for, uh, for New York. You would think that New York would put up a bit, of, a bit of a fight because they're like one of the best. They've always been one of the best teams. Where, where am 
I supposed to go from there? Okay, hold on. Oh, oops. Okay, 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 I for, I, for some reason, I thought that the game was going to be done because they actually got there, but I got to get the stupid stool. Nora needs to stop. Dude, what is she calling me? <laughs> he, he, didn't, he didn't even open the door. He literally, he, 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 he ran right through the wall. I'm confused on where to go from here, though. How are we going to get out of the house? We go back down. Do we go back downstairs? Mm. Nope. No, I mean that that's that makes sense, right? That makes sense, dude. It, don't don't look anything up quite yet. We can, we'll try a couple more times, or one one or two more times to try to figure this out. Okay, so what we have we have what are our options here, right? So he's still down there. He hears. Maybe we don't hang up the phone call the second time we pick. Second time we pick up the phone call when we're upstairs. Does that does that make sense?
Oh, yo, let's go. Wait, I think we might have gone a little bit too quick there. <sighs> I think we I, <laughs> we were supposed to get the phone call outside. And then she calls up, up she's supposed to call us up here too, right? She's supposed to <laughs> damn it. Don't make me do this again, please. Call up here, please. Please call up here. Please call up here. Cause she's supposed she would when I opened up the when I opened up the closet door. So for this call, it should be t it's timer based. Okay. I think I might have messed up the first call because it's like we open up the closet right, right before I grab the step stool. She calls like and he's jazz. he's like, hmm. Yeah, and then, yeah, exactly. He's like, you like jazz? And then and then he tries to catch you, but we go up into the attic and then she tries calling again. So let's stay up here for a little bit longer and then we'll see what happens. What's up, Zeko? How you doing, man? I have a feeling we're gonna have to reset it. So, all right, so I'm sorry. Oh, <gasps> cat! Oh, he's right. Th he's right there. Oh, they just said something. Cat. I've called nine one one. Are you all right? Just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called nine one one. Messages. Nora. Pick up the phone. Sleepyhead. We're almost there. No. Someone got married. Okay, thanks for calling 911. He he did leave. He was literally just standing right there. I'm wondering, do we do we go downstairs now, though? Or do we... He's gone. Shit, I don't want to go... I don't want to go down and have to redo this whole fucking thing. Because he called 911. I mean, it, you know what? It could just be a waiting game. It really could just be waiting, just like the other one. You stay under the bed and you just wait. Eventually, the cops come. I'm, I'm, I wonder if that's the same. Because he did. He did say. He did say, I've called 911. And you said, just got done talking to the other guest on the phone. I called 911. Okay, so if they know, if they called, or he called them, or called Mike. So now Nora knows not to keep calling me. This guy's a... Uh, this guy's a real jerk. Oh, what if I hold his cat hostage? Then he has to let me go. Oh my 
god, dude. I hear something. There's like a wind. Yeah, I'm imagining, I imagine we go down. Huh? Oh, then we just see him. Ah, oh, Mike, give me a hug. It's literally just oh, I just ran him over. I told him everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived, and of course the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used. Yeah, he was upstairs. Yeah, he, he, was, he was upstairs, and his cat was up there. So that's why he was like, oh, I'm looking for my cat. That way he, he had an excuse. And planned on robbing us during our stay. I don't think he planned on robbing. I, I imagine that they, he was going to just kill him. Um, the cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Yeah, he was going to kill me. He literally said he was going to kill me. Rick asked me what the man looked like. And after that, he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. Oh, that's good. I'm actually kind of surprised that it wasn't, um, what's it called? The hitchhiker guy. I thought the hitchhiker guy was going to be the one to come in and like mess everybody up and stuff like that. Pretty good. I, I feel, I feel like as, as the episodes went on, I feel like, um, it was less jump scary and more psychological. Like this one, it, this one you could see the jump scares come a mile away pretty much. There was like one or two in the beginning where the fake Rick was in a room, but it wasn't nearly as bad as like the second episode at the hotel or the motel, um, or like the first one. Those those first two episodes were were, were scary. They definitely they definitely got. That's pretty, pretty good.